Now, how much would someone in your position expect to make, whether they're starting out or maybe after a few years, what's, what could they expect? Well, if you're sort of a recently graduate, a recent graduate, sorry, <laughs> you're a recent graduate, yeah. uh, you, you might be making between uh, 55 to 65 per hour. Um, of course, that would actually be dependent on how qualified you are, um, how much scans you can do. So there's a lot of um, different scans that you can get upskill yourself. And so it all depends on that. So this is straight out of straight graduation. Straight graduation. Should, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, uh, as far as my my latest uh, yeah. <laughs> sussing yeah, out on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's about 55, 65, I would say. Um, as you get more confident and more capable and, and, and you're skilled at uh, a lot of uh, different types of scans, um, say, for example, if you're doing vascular stuff, you're doing morphology, you're doing musculoskeletal, they all sort of encompass upskilling. So you're likely to get more as you, as you progress. Um, there's also, um, I think, some of the companies offer bonuses where you know, if you're performing above and beyond your normal work duties, um, you're likely to uh, be incentivized by getting more money for, uh, say, taking extra patients in. So if you do five extra patients, then you'll be incentivized for that. Right. That's pretty cool. So is that on a day to day basis or is that on a day look at it as how many patients did you do in a week? How's that? How's that calculated? Yeah, so it's it's calculated on a week, but as I said, every pr clinical practice is different. So uh, from my point of view, uh, ours is calculated on a weekly basis. Yeah. Mm. And is it like um, radiography where there's different grades? There's an enterprise agreement, whether it's a public hospital or a you know private practice. Is that how sonography is also correct rated out as well? So yeah. does, you know the starting cell, starting hourly rate you mentioned was I'm assuming sort of grade one or grade you know then after yeah. that it might go to grade two. Does it also go to five or six grades? What's how can someone expect it? What's the peak that they can reach at? Um, so, look, I can't say for sure what the peak. I can't put a number on it, but oftentimes people have private negotiations with their company and they can come to an agreement of what is the best wage. Sometimes you are worth what your market value is, right? So, you know, you're not going to get a lot more than that. Mm. If you are getting a lot more then you know, you're obviously going to be working to the bone as well. Yeah. And so there's always a compromise. So it's what you want to get out of your work and yeah, how much you've negotiated with your company. That's it's all variable. Um, of course, mind you, I think you have to strike a balance when it comes to your earning potential because, as I said, the more you earn, the more you're going to work. Say, for example, if you're wanting to be part of this incentivized scheme, you know, you're going to be working harder, but it also has a toll on your body as well. So you have to be mindful of the fact that you don't want to have sore wrists or sore elbows or, you know, you know, it, I think it does take a physical toil in it as well. So I think it's important to keep keep them um, sort of um, be mindful of that. A healthy yeah. approach to the, yes, to, to yes, the game. Yeah, yeah, to balance it out well. Nice. How much would someone expect to make in your position, whether they're starting out or after a few years? What, what's an expectation? Then? Mm. So personal or just... If you're willing to share, but <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> so... As a sonographer, it really depends on personal skills, like your scanning metrics. Of course, the more you can do, the higher you get paid. I would say as a general sonographer, the starting salary, you probably can expect somewhere around 60-ish. But of course, the more you can do, in the more patient you can scan, the, that money goes up. But it also depends on what type of contract you are with as well. That's $60 an hour. Mm, yes. $60 an hour. But as you are qualified and you have more experience, you can always negotiate to work as a contractor, which would probably get paid per case, or you get paid per hour, but then you get bonus on top. But don't forget at the end of the day, it's patient care first. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes. With a contractor, does that mean that you'll have a contract for, let's say, up to three months or four months or and then you have to look for another position what does that look no, like so for a contractor um the ones that i know and i got offered before is you get paid per patient 
but there is no time restriction. So you, you are not tidying up to an actual contract. So you can pretty much ask for leave for holiday leave or personal leave at any time that you wish. And yes, but on top of that, you don't get holiday pays or other pays because you get paid more per case in all your other packages are included in that pay. Mm. Mm. Is, is that pretty common or is, is it mostly that you get a, you're with a company and you get an hourly or salary? What, what's more mm. common in sonography? I think the more common ones are probably the salary based contractors, very experienced sonographers. Um, yeah, I do hear some patient, some people can do like partial contractor in partial salary. Mm. Yeah. Just depends on how it works out for you in the practice as well. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Good.